Hi, welcome back to Harris BI. This video is about SQL endpoint in Microsoft Fabric. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe my channel for more videos. As you know, whenever you create a fabric artifacts like lake house, warehouse and mirrored databases, there will be a SQL endpoint created for all of your artifacts. For example, if you see here, I have a lake house called the stack overflow. So this is the lake house I have created. Within that lake house, I have different tables loaded. And if you see here, there is a SQL analytics endpoint got created for this lake house. So I can use this SQL endpoint to access this table using my select statement. So I can go here and this is these are all the list of tables which I have loaded into that uh, lake house. And I can easily access uh, the tables using simple select statements. Right, if I go to this section, here this is the place where you will see the SQL connection string. Right, if I just copy this and uh, paste it in a notepad, if you see here, this is the SQL server where this particular uh, SQL database is hosted. So whatever you see here, Stack Overflow. So there is a lake host or created. On top of that, there is a database created on this particular server, and this database is a read-only database. So you can just still go and access the tables using your uh, SQL client tools. Right, so now we got this SQL endpoint uh, for this lake house. Right, let me uh, go back to the workspace. And I'll try to take uh, another SQL endpoint from a different uh, artifacts in Microsoft Fabric. So let's take uh, this mirrored database, uh, the Snowflake mirrored database. And this is a SQL endpoint for that uh, Snowflake uh, mirrored database. So if I go here, I can see the SQL connection string. I'm just copying here. I'll just go to the notepad. I'll just paste it uh, below. So if you see here, there is no change in the SQL uh, server connection details. It's exactly same. Right? So which means uh, this uh, SQL uh, endpoint of this lake house and then this uh, Snowflake mirrored database is also using the same SQL server under the hood. Right. Let me go to uh, maybe a different uh, object. Let me go back. I'll see if there are any uh, varrows available. I'll just quickly filter here. So for this varrows, if I go here, I can uh, again get the similar information, the connection string. I'll just copy here and then I can uh, paste it on the notepad. So if you see here, uh, this I have captured from my uh, lake house SQL endpoint and this is a mirrored database uh, SQL endpoint and this is my data warehouse uh, SQL endpoints. So if you see all of them are exactly same, which means uh, it is using a same server, but all of these data are stored as a different databases. Let me try connect that SQL server in uh, SQL Server Management Studio. You can still use uh, Azure Data Studio. Just go to here and choose database engine and uh, let's copy any one of this just copy and then just paste it here and here you need to choose azure active directory and uh, provide your uh, microsoft uh, fabric credentials you can see here it is connected if i expand the database i can see lot of databases so how this uh, these many databases are there right so these are all coming from one single workspace if i go back to the workspace let me uh, try to just filter only the SQL endpoints. So I'll just go here, filter, type, and then I'm going to choose uh, this SQL analytics endpoint. So there are two SQL an uh, analytics endpoint, one for the mirrored databases and one for the other uh, set of uh, lake houses and warehouses. If I choose uh, both of them, so these are all the list of uh, databases which you can see on that uh, server. So we have BPA, Bronze, Contosa, Demo, so all will be available here. And these are all the staging of uh, uh, SQL endpoints, which you can ignore. And then, so, which means whatever SQL endpoints that are created as part of lake house, warehouse, or even mirrored databases for that particular uh, uh, workspace will be there uh, uh, under one particular uh, SQL warehouse or SQL server. So you have multiple artifacts created as part of your Microsoft Fabric workspace. So whatever you create, like lake house, warehouse, there will be a SQL endpoint created uh, for all of them. And uh, all these SQL endpoints are nothing but uh, a specific databases in one Azure SQL Server. Right? So this is a SQL Server. Under that, you can see all of these uh, different databases. 
and these are all for a specific uh, workspace so in this case this is from uh, hari bi academy right so which means whenever you create a new artifact it is not going to create uh, multiple sql server under the hood instead it is going to create multiple or individual databases on the same sql server let's if i go to a different workspace let me go to uh, another workspace and here i have a, a lake house here so let me go inside this uh, lake house i'll just try to get the sql endpoint just copy and then i'm just pasting here so if you see here uh, uh, the first part is same uh, even with the previous uh, workspace or uh, sql uh, endpoint but the uh, this uh, second parts are di totally different right so sometimes you will be getting a pba dedicated or you will be getting a data warehouse like fabric.microsoft.com uh, so which means like this is uh, going to be a different server so for each workspace there will be one uh, azure sql server creator under the hood on that sql server all the databases will be created with a read only access right so if i try to connect this server so here you can see so this is listing out all the sql endpoints or the databases which got created under this particular workspace hari code space right so now you got a clarity uh, how many sql servers will be created as part of uh, microsoft fabric for each workspace there will be one sql server created and all the different uh, objects the sql endpoints will be created as a individual databases now let's try to understand uh, some more details say if i need to uh, Uh, understand what is the version that is used uh, for this SQL Server. Right, so I can just simply e execute some of the uh, system database queries. So I can execute uh, like this. So this will give me a uh, details like uh, what is my uh, version of this SQL Server. So it is using Microsoft Azure SQL Warehouse RTM and uh, twelve point zero version. And uh, let's try to understand how to use uh, these uh, SQL endpoints. Right. So, if you want to use the SQL endpoints directly on the Power BI service, you can just simply select the SQL endpoint and uh, where you can uh, uh, go to the SQL queries and you can write queries. But let's say if you are into uh, let's say if you are into a lake house, so I'm just going into one of the lake house. For example, this uh, Contosa lake house. So if you are into lake house, you can see this option lake house, and under that you will see a SQL endpoint. So this will take you to the SQL endpoint where you can easily write your queries here. So you can directly choose SQL endpoint from uh, the list of uh, objects in your workspace, and you can take it to that uh, uh, the SQL endpoint where you can uh, write SQL queries, or you can just go to a lake house and uh, using this uh, right hand side option, you can uh, navigate to the specific SQL endpoint of that particular uh, lake house. Let's say if you want to connect uh, this SQL endpoint from your Microsoft uh, Power BI desktop, then there are two options are there. So let's say if you want to create a, a Microsoft Power BI semantic model using SQL endpoint, so you want to decide to go with uh, import or a direct query instead of direct lake, just grab the SQL endpoint. So here you can go this option and then uh, take this connection string, just copy and open your uh, Power BI desktop. And here you can go and then choose uh, SQL Server. and you can provide uh, the the copied uh, connection string which is sql endpoint and then choose whether you want to go with the import or a direct query and just click uh, uh, okay so it will ask you for the credentials if you are uh, trying to connect for the first time so once you provide the credentials so this time the credentials would be like uh, microsoft oauth credential where you have to pass the microsoft uh, fabric uh, credentials that you uh, email id and password so then it is listing out all the databases which are there under that particular server where you have access right so you can choose any of this let's say i'm just uh, choosing uh, some tables from uh, this uh, stack overflow i'll just take a uh, post type and then i'll just uh, go and transform data so if you see here uh, now i have uh, taken a table uh, from that particular sql endpoint and th this is got loaded and i have selected import uh, in a previous screen so that's got imported here Just click close and apply, and can, I can create uh, further models. Right, so this is one of the way where you can just grab the SQL endpoints and then uh, copy it here as a SQL Server connection, and then you can uh, uh, do the transformations and modeling.
if i go this option one lake data hub i can see uh, all the microsoft fabric objects like uh, lake house warehouse kql databases and power bi objects like power bi semantic model and data marts so if i choose lake house so let's say i want to uh, create a power bi data set against my uh, lake house data right so this is a lake house which i want to choose right so if i choose this uh, i have two options under connect one is just a connect so which will connect to the uh, default semantic model which got created as part of uh, this lake house so if i go to the uh, workspace if you see here under uh, uh, stack overflow i have a lake house created and i have a sql endpoint created on top of that i have uh, my stack overflow semantic model got created so this is a uh, default semantic model let me see whether i can so here you can see semantic model default so this is something it got created automatically so this just to have a read access you will not be able to modify anything so if i just simply uh, connect it will take me to that uh, default semantic model or if i just want to uh, create a model uh, in power bi desktop either uh, using import or a direct query i can choose this option so this option will uh, will connect me to that uh, sql endpoint if i just simply choose so it will open the window uh, where it will show all the list of uh, Uh, data uh, all the list of tables so here you can see this is showing all the list of tables as part of this navigation because we have selected this uh, sql endpoint and i can choose let's say i'm just trying to choose the same table if i go to transform data so here uh, it is asking me whether i want to go with import or a direct query i'll just choose import for now and then uh, if i see here on the power query editor so it has created a table if you go and see this advanced editor it will have this uh, sql databases so which means if you want to connect a uh, sql endpoint for your import based model or a direct query based model you no need to go to sql server and just copy paste your sql uh, connection string and all and directly go to that one hub uh, data lake and choose uh, which uh, object you want to proceed either lake house or warehouse or kql databases and choose any of these and it will it will ask you to connect there if you choose the sql endpoint it will automatically connect to that specific sql server and specific databases and uh, you will see the tables here that's about this uh, sql endpoint if you have any queries about sql endpoint uh, let me know in the comment thanks for watching this video thank you